In this video, we will discuss the differences between record-triggered automation in Salesforce, workflow rules, and flow, and why flow is the recommended automation tool. Workflow rules are easy to set up automations for same record use cases. However, workflow does come with several limitations, including not being able to access the record's prior value, inability to reference related objects, and workflow rules can cause a recursive save and use more system resources than flow. Due to these limitations, it is best to start by using a before save flow trigger, which will provide you with greater flexibility as a long-term solution to meet your needs. If you begin with a flow, this will eliminate the need to switch the tool you are using as processes and requirements change. Flow automation will also improve the use of system resources. Let's view an example of where we can utilize a simple before save flow trigger. Here's our use case. An admissions director needs to track the stage of an opportunity before it was moved to canceled. This will allow for reporting and metrics around how far someone moved through the process before they canceled. Let's create a simple flow for this. As we can see here, this is a record triggered flow. It is set up to be triggered when a record is updated and the flow runs before the record is saved. This type of flow can be used when you are updating the same record that is triggering the automation. This simple automation only contains one element, an assignment. When using a before save flow, you only have to use an assignment element and not a record update element. In my assignment, I set the variable as the opportunity cancellation stage field, since this is the field we are wanting to update and the value we are assigning to the variable is the record's prior stage value. The flow is ready to be activated. Let's watch this automation in action. Here I am on my Salesforce homepage. I will navigate to the Opportunity tab and select an opportunity. I can see my stage is in review and my cancellation stage is blank. I will now move my stage to canceled and save my record. I can now see that the cancellation stage is in review since that is the stage the record was in prior to it being moved to canceled. As you can see, this quick and simple flow gives you more flexibility and functionality than a workflow rule and also takes approximately the same time to set up and configure. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. To never miss new content, hit the subscribe button below.